got lower though, didn't he? Mm. As Lionel Messi declared that he wanted to leave the club. Sid, I remember the conversation that we had on the day when it was confirmed that, in fact, this was real. We were in disbelief. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, I think we all knew that there were very significant problems. We all knew that Messi was in a position where he was contemplating what to do with the future. But I think we all thought that when it came to it, he wouldn't take this step. Um, I, I think we all thought that when he came to it that maybe it would help leverage changes at the club. It would be a way of forcing the hand of the club. Of course, we knew that he wasn't impressed with the squad, that he wanted changes made, and, and, and we didn't think it would reach quite this point. Now, obviously, with hindsight, you look at it and you think, well, that was a clue, and that was a clue, and, and that should have told us this was happening. And, and as I say, we, we all knew that a lot of those elements were in place, but we just didn't think it would reach that point. And then, of course, the other thing is that having reached that point, we didn't think there was any way back. And somehow Barcelona found a way back by basically closing the door on Messi and locking it and saying, you can't go. And it was just extraordinary to then see Messi announce that he was staying, but announce it in a way that had no joy whatsoever, mm. no sense of commitment whatsoever. He was absolutely blunt and to the point in saying, I'm staying because they won't let me leave. Th that interview mm. was one of the most incredible pieces of television we saw this year. Yeah. And you saw an honesty and a truthfulness from a player that gave us an insight into what his thought process was and the frustration of the moment. And the fact that in his mind, he was gone. In his mind, that's it. This door is shut. This door is closed. I do not want to be part of this anymore. And it's impossible not to draw a parallel or a direct correlation to being humiliated with uh, Bayern Munich 8-2 mm -hmm. to two, and that being the moment in which he just said, you know what, I cannot be part of this any longer. This, this cannot be what Barcelona has become, and, and I cannot be at the forefront of this. It's not that that was the only reason, but he just felt like that was sort of the push that he needed in order for him to, okay, you know what, I have to send this Bureau of Facts. This has to end. I cannot be here any longer. This is no longer for me. And it's also impossible to expect from the player after he has said to himself, I'm out, to then turn right back around then be in and be excited about being in. Yeah. And that, I think, we are still seeing some of the whiplash from that and some of the effects from that in that it, it hasn't been until the last few weeks where we have really seen Lionel Messi playing at a high level with Barcelona. He played at a high level with Argentina, but at the beginning of the season with Barcelona, he was like, mm, I'm not sure if I want to be here. Now it's almost as if, well, okay, if I'm going to be here, I might as well make the best of it. But what a moment that was just to see that inside look yep. into Lionel Messi and what the mindset and what he was feeling at the time. And we all found out about bureau faxes. <laughs> yeah, who knew that that existed <laughs> still? Uh, thank ah. you very much, gentlemen, uh, for Lionel Messi uh, setting records uh, this year, of course. Um, the most goals for a single club. He eclipsed the record held by Pele. 644 goals for Barcelona. What? A, a record, surely, that will never be beat. Nope. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.